What's up everyone, it's Trevor back with another video and I want to talk to you guys about what happens after you get accepted. I feel like I knew the process leading up to getting into a school really well. So you prepare your application, you submit it, you go on interviews and then December 1st you sit by your phone and wait for a call. But I didn't really know what happened after that and so I want to give you guys a heads up so you know exactly what to expect. Okay, so December 1st is a huge day in the pre-dental world. Everyone is freaking out, excited, nervous, scared, anxious, name an emotion and they're probably feeling it. It's the very first day that a school can tell you if you've interviewed there already, whether or not you're accepted to that school. There's actually three different things that can happen. You can be put on a wait list, you can get accepted, or you can get rejected. And from what I hear actually, not very many people get rejected on December 1st. So let's focus on those other two if you get accepted or put on a wait list. If you get put on a wait list, it's not the end of the world. December 1st for me, I actually got accepted to a few schools and I got put onto a few wait lists. And all three schools that I got waitlisted at actually ended up getting into them a few weeks later. So it's definitely not the end of the world. Keep your hopes up. And one tip that I can give you guys is if you are on that wait list, Keep in contact with that school. Let them know that, without being annoying, let them know that you're excited to go there and that if you get that acceptance, there's a very, very high chance that you'll end up going there in the fall. But other than that, there's not much you can do if you're on a wait list. You just have to wait it out and wait for someone to decline an acceptance to that school. And if you're next up on the list, they'll give you a call and say that you're accepted. Okay, so let's talk about what happens when you actually do get accepted. You are so excited. It's the day you've been waiting for. You've put in so much hard work. Um, you've grinded out tests and exams and you're in. You got the call and you're in. So what do you do now? The very first thing that will happen, the school that you got into will send you an email with a ton of different things you need to do. So that is shots, paying deposits, sending final transcripts, getting uh, your loan situation figured out, tons of different things that you never knew you had to do. But the very first thing that you probably need to take care of is the initial deposit to hold your acceptance at that school so they don't give it away to another student. And usually that's around two or three hundred dollars and it's due about two or three weeks after you get accepted. And then after that deposit, it gives you about two or three months to finally decide whether or not you want to actually attend that school and you have to pay a final deposit which is closer to around a thousand dollars depending on your school and so to not waste money you want to really be sure that you want to go to that program okay so I'm actually still working on my to-do list and this past week I checked off one of the boxes which was CPR certification I went through the American Red Cross to do it and there was an online portion I had to do and um, a classroom setting that we had to do and go and practice our skills and it was really awesome. We learned how to do CPR on adults, children, and infants, and also how to use an AED on each of those and the differences when you're dealing with a full grown adult to a child to a, real, to a um, small baby. And so it's awesome because I just feel prepared if for an emergency in case something happens while I'm like at the store or at school or in practice. So I, I feel like I'm actually becoming a healthcare professional, even though anyone, you know, walking down the street can have that same certification. It just makes me feel like I'm um, doing important, uh, something important with my life. Even though you have this huge long to-do list from the school, there are a few very, very important things that you need to do outside of this list. And the first and probably the most important one is finding out where you're going to live. And this can be really hard for all of those people who are attending a school that's out of state. So for me, I was in Florida and I had to figure out a place to live here in Columbus. And I didn't really want to spend all the money to fly out here, um, go apartment shopping and then fly back home. I feel felt like it was going to be too expensive. So I actually did all my research online and I kind of looked out with the place I got. I really love it. I feel like it's in a safe area and really close to school. But if you don't feel confident in doing all that online, then the best thing to do is contact the admissions committee and they can have, they can tell you where the good places are, where a lot of the students stay, or they'll give you the numbers to current students and you can talk to them about where they stay and where all their friends recommend. You just want to be comfortable in your house because when you're at school, 
it's going to take a ton of energy out of you and when you come back home you just want to be able to relax and, and enjoy your time there and be close to classmates friends or family this past week was awesome in columbus they have this thing called comp fest going on and it's this huge festival where uh, a ton of different food trucks get together they have uh, car shows they have a lot of different cultural experiences and so i'll drop some footage in here for you guys to show check out all the cars that i watch i'm actually into cars so it's super cool they had um bentley's aston martins porsches ferraris anything you think of it was there all right guys that's all for this video i hope you liked it hope you are feeling a little bit more prepared about what is coming your way after you get into a dental school if you guys have any questions put them down below and i'll do my best to answer them and i'll see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,